Thank you for watching the Terrace Kitchen with Pixel's mom today. We are going to be making a very special birthday cake for my daughter Pixel. We're going to be making a Heath Bar cake. The ingredients you'll need for this cake today are 1 fourth pound butter, 2 cups of brown sugar, 2 cups of all-purpose flour, 1 tablespoon of baking soda, 1 fourth teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract, 1 egg, 1 cup of milk, which I will be using the oat milk. I will also be needing a half a cup of chopped nuts and Heath bar pieces for the inside of the cake and to top the cake with as well. Alright, our first step to make our Heath bar cake is to add our one quarter pound butter into our bowl. Then we're going to put our two cups of brown sugar and the flour. Oh, sorry, two cups of flour as well. Try not to splash that all over the place because it could be a little bit fluffy. Okay. And we're going to mix this together until it makes a, forms a crumble, like into a brick of crumble. Oh. All right, now that we have the three ingredients combined and they have made a nice little crumble and I put a cup of it aside for future use, I am now going to add the baking soda the salt, the vanilla, which was one teaspoonful, maybe a little bit more, it might be a little bit more vanilla -y. Sometimes that happens, I guess. I'm going to add one egg, the one cup of milk, which is in the bowl right here, and our walnuts. Now, it does not call for Heath Bar pieces in the cake, but I am going to add some just because I would like to have the extra crunch that it would add to the cake itself. All right, now that I have all the ingredients combined and it made a nice cake mixture, we sprayed a little bit of spray on a nine by 13 pan and we're going to put that into there. In the meantime, we did set our oven to 350 degrees. The cake itself should take anywhere from 30 minutes or until it is golden brown. Okay, now that we have the cake spread into the pan, we're going to take the re additional crumble that I had set aside and sprinkle that onto the top of the cake itself. Okay, and in addition to the actual crumble, this is where we're going to add our lovely topping of Heath Bar pieces. Now it does only call for about a cup or so, but I tend to think that if you're going to make a yummy Heath Bar cake, more is better. And I know my pixel daughter, she loves Heath Bar. It's one of her faves. And this cake is in her honor of her beautiful birthday today. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. We're going to be putting it in the oven and we'll be back when it's done. Alright, our cake has been in the oven at the 350 degree mark. And it did take about 50 minutes total for it to cook. It does look nice golden and caramelly. A little very moist in the middle. And you know what we got to do, folks. My daughter, Pixel, and I are going to say happy birthday to her and give it a good try and see how it comes out. Oh, Yay. look at that. All right, here we go. Uh, my cake is defying my mouth, Mom. Oh, screw it. <sighs> now it obeys me. Hmm. What do you think? Caramelly? Mm-hmm. Sweet. Very good. Mm-hmm. 
I think adding the heat pieces inside the cake made it crunchy. Mm hmm Which I think was a good touch, don't you? There's only one piece of criticism about it. Not and there's nothing piece. horrible. The top makes it a little difficult to chew. Almost like really, really hard caramel. It is good, though. No, it's not it a bad good. thing. It's just you kind of have to chew the top of it for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, even if the cake did have a little bit of you know, malfunctions here and there, I still think it was a, mostly a success. Yep. I think you'd have to play with it a little bit, maybe add a little less caramel tea bar pieces maybe, maybe or yeah. you know just put give more it in your the middle and touch. a sprinkle on top yeah. i don't know yeah but otherwise overall i think it was good and it definitely does taste very well let's look at the cake again so all right folks um if you give this cake a try please let me know what you think and what you might have done different that might have made it a little bit more tastier for us yeah I hope everyone has a wonderful day, and happy birthday to my beautiful daughter, Pixel. Yay. Yay. Happy birthday, darling. I love you, and I, I hope you, you all too. have a wonderful day. Yeah.